If you've not heard, the local hack DA was so inefficient and in Vic's right pocket that yesterday the big boys showed up. The feds have now taken over the grounds. Michael Vick's house got purchased. Nobody can figure out who. There was a robbery, important stuff taken, evidence potentially tampered with. So the feds, and, that, and that's big boy. The feds is guys with windbreakers with three letters on the back. That's scary stuff. ATF, FBI, yeah, DEA. When you get the windbreakers with three letters, you're toast. And it's one thing if it's the local meatball, guy's got a beer belly, you see him on Tuesdays in the softball league batting seventh, but the feds, that's windbreakers with three letters. This is the her. Here's Colin Cowher. Oh, it's The Herd on ESPN Radio. Wherever you may be, thanks for making us part of your day. Lively one today. Great shows this week. Leader in the clubhouse after yesterday's show. Good job, people. Teamwork. A lot of things today. Let me start with Michael Vick. By the way, anybody who emails, Colin, you guys are making a, a really a big deal out of Michael Vick. Do you get it? There was Pete Rose in the 80s, OJ in the 90s. This is the story of the decade. You, you you get that, right? Pete Rose owned the 80s. Disgrace baseball. OJ, the story of the 90s. Michael Vick, NFL star, going to prison for dogfighting. If he is charged, is the story of the era. Leave Vick alone, beating a dead horse. Are you drunk? This is a transcended sports. It's Nancy Grace is on it. CNN, Larry King. Oh, front cover USA Today. It's no longer on the red section. It's the front section. Newsweek, front, time, front. It's way past being covered by SI. It was allegedly, according to uh, FBI here, he is the ringleader. He was the ringleader. This wasn't a crime of passion, a fight at a club, spur of the moment. This was an NFL star, the second he got money, got involved in a felony. The second he got a paycheck. I am going to be the ringleader of a felony, and maybe America's cruelest felony. Shouldn't we all have known? Shouldn't we have been suspicious? Here's the, here's the only thing that made me chuckle in this whole story. Michael Vick owned Bad News Kennels. I mean, let me ask you, if somebody owned Bad News Mortgage, would you try to finance your house through it? Would you buy meat at Bad News Deli? Would you drop your kids off at Bad News Child Care? I mean, they didn't even hide what they were doing. They were trying to be troublemakers. Would you drop your dog off at Bad News Kennels? Ooh, that's like dropping your kid off at Choking Hazard Daycare. I mean, shouldn't we have seen it coming for a mile? Hi, I'd like to buy some fish at High Mercury Seafoods Incorporated. Guy owned Bad News Kennels. They were marketing, we're bad guys. This is bad news. But what Michael Vick has really been doing is dodging bullets. He's been getting in trouble, but not necessarily legal trouble. He's flipping off a fan, smoking a joint on MySpace.com, Ron Mexico. Not legal stuff, just bad press stuff. And there's a difference. But this needs to be said. If he's charged, he's going to prison and he is out of the league for years. They will bury him in the NFL because he told Roger Goodell none of the stuff was going on. He owned something called Bad News Kennels. I mean, he was, he, they, I mean, listen to one of their commercials. I mean, they weren't even, I mean, they weren't even really trying to hide it. 
Introducing the Michael Vick School of Obedience, where your dog will receive the finest training in all of the canine arts. Your dog will learn commands like sit, kill, roll over, kill, fetch, kill, and play dead. Well, I don't think he's playing. It's guaranteed that your dog will learn that Michael Vick fighting spirit. The Michael Vick School of Obedience is not responsible for damage to pets, mailmen, children, livestock, delivery men, neighbors, family members, and or property. The Michael Vick School of Obedience, where our motto is sit or else. Trust your dog to Michael Vick. What does that teach your dogs to maim, kill, or sit? Trust your dogs with Michael Vick. That's a nice slogan. That's, that's very nice.